Welcome back to another video. My name is Abby. For those of you who are new, for everyone else, thank you so much for joining me again. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. It's gonna let you know when I release my next video. And hit like if you like it, because it's really gonna help me and I appreciate it. So, let's get started. Struggle versus effort. What's the difference and how can it impact your life right now? So do you relate right now that you're struggling? Maybe, maybe it's a job, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's the amount of money you make. You're struggling in some way, shape or form in your life right now. Does that feel true? What does struggle mean? The definition of struggle is a violent or forceful effort to get free of constriction. So that means you are literally constricted, you're not free, you're bound, and you're violently or forcefully trying to fight to get free. Now think about it again. Is there something in your life, whether it be a job, whether it be a relationship, or the amount of money, or maybe it is even how you feel in your skin. Are you struggling? Are you feeling like you're violently and forcefully trying to get out of this prison that you're feeling? I've had the unique opportunity to work in rideshare. At one point I did a sabbatical and I decided I just was gonna do rideshare. During that time I got to talk to 2,000 people and I would ask them different questions. Through those questions I discovered that a lot of people making six figures right now are struggling. No, they're not struggling to get money, but they are absolutely struggling in their job, in their life. They absolutely feel a sense of prison, that they're constricted and that they're violently trying to get out of it. Their problem is though, their efforts to do so are actually getting them into a more of a state of struggle. Stuart Weil describes struggle as effort laced with emotion and desperation. So think about it in your life right now. What is it that you you have effort and all around it is this desperation and is this emotion, this intense and negative emotion. And also too, we're hearing things on you know Instagram and Facebook and from these successful entrepreneurs, if it's a monetary thing you're looking for and you know, Get in the grind, hustle, you know, like the struggle. But is that really true? Are people who are really successful struggling to do so? Unless you really look at how you view success and how and what it looks like to get there, you might be signing up for an idea. You might be listening to a school of thought that is absolutely going to pull you down more, which is going to intensify that idea that you're being constricted and literally that struggle is going to wait more. Ultimately, when you are in struggle, you are trying to do something. There is something outside of you, a goal, a job, an amount of money, a house, a person, whatever it is, you're trying to get there. You don't want to be here. You want to be there and you're struggling. I envision like crawling through mud or thing where it's just so arduous and it's, you're trying so hard. Now think about that resistance that creates. If you think about law of attraction, if you think about manifestation, I have another video about manifestation, about what it is and it's your consciousness level. So if you think that you're here and that thing is over there, you're creating resistance between you and that thing by identifying with the struggle where you can't get there because you were constricted. And then also too, you're radiating that you don't have it. At your consciousness level, you don't identify as being capable or being in the realm of having it. So you're going to radiate, you're going to send out into the universe electric thoughts, which you're gonna say, hey universe, I don't have this thing. I'm constricted and I can't get to what I want. I've got this effort laced with emotion and desperation. And when you have desperation and you're shooting it out to the universe, you're going to draw back more desperate situations, situations that are gonna get you more into struggle. What you really wanna look at is where this idea came from. Do you need to struggle to make the money for your life? Do you need to struggle hard in relationships? Maybe you need to struggle for a place over your head. Do you need to struggle at work? What is it that you were shown? Where is it in your life that you were taught that struggle was part of the equation? Stuart Wilde literally wrote a book called Life Was Never Meant to Be a Struggle. When you start looking at it, it's a pamphlet really, but the ideas it talks about is how we sign up and, and we just hold so tight to this idea, this ego mindset that no, 
It needs to be hard. Life is only good when you work really hard. And somewhere along the lines, struggle and hard work became synonymous, and that's not true. Because let's think about it. Let's look at effort now. Effort comes from two Latin words. One, ex, meaning out, and fortis, meaning strength or force. So you're gonna force out. You're gonna have this energy in you, this expression, you're gonna force it out, you're gonna push it out. It comes from a powerful position. It comes from a, a way to show strength. When you put your effort into something, that doesn't mean that it's negative. That doesn't mean that you're just wiped out on the floor. You gave a really intense effort. That means that you have this thing that you're working towards. You have a vision. You're gonna put effort into it, which is gonna help to show the intention, not a desire, desire is sitting back and like, oh, I wish that would happen. You need effort with intention because it's gonna show you working towards that, that realm of existence for you, that possibility. Quantum physics shows that every potential of you exists right now. The millionaire, the homeless one, the married one, the single one, parent, non-parent, whatever it is, all the choices, it all exists right now. And what's going to change whatever reality you are actually going to experience is how you think, how you act, and how you feel. And if you feel like you're desperate, if you feel that you're weighted, if you feel all these negative emotions, if then you're thinking these things of, God, this is so hard. Man, why does it have to be so hard to get the things I want? So that's how you think. That's how you feel. How are you going to act? You're going to act like it's a pain. You're going to act just worn out because nothing is going your way. Nothing comes easy. And rather than your cup getting filled every day because you feel really good about this expression that you're putting out into the world because you know your intention and you know your goal and you know every day that you put in that effort in, even if it's 100% of what you have, you know the next day you're going to get restored through rest and clarity of vision. But with struggle, that it doesn't happen because with struggle, it never goes where you're trying to go. You're trying to drag this weight you're getting weighted down, you don't actually move. So it's like having a cup of water and just pouring it out into the earth. It just gets absorbed. Nothing fruitful comes from that. So the difference between struggle and effort is effort is in struggle, but it's weighted down. So you actually never get to see the seed of that that's coming out of you. Effort is needed and then whatever you have to do in the world, whatever it is that your, your vocation is or whatever it is that it feels like your heart and soul is pulling you towards. It's necessary to have effort. Effort does not mean you have to struggle. Now you do have to have effort if you wanna struggle, but you really have to be honest with yourself and you really have to be clear with yourself on what it is. Do you think that it can come naturally and it can flow according to a vision or do you think that something will always come along do you think that it's always this desperate emotion? Do you think that you're constricted and feel like you can't really get to where you wanna go? Because if that's how you're feeling about whatever it is, your goal, your life, your job, whatever it is, if you feel constricted and that you're not able to freely express and put out into the world through an effort, you're signing up for the struggle bus literally. You don't have to ride it. You can try another way. You can try a way through effort and hard work which is putting your creativity on the test, putting yourself out there, using all your talents you have in the world, but it doesn't mean that you're weighted down with this constriction, that you can't actually have what you want, and whatever multitude of limiting thoughts and self-concepts that you have, or that you have had, or that you see somebody having right now. The other thing about struggle is it produces a lot of stress in your body. All that cortisol flowing through makes it harder for your body to actually work the way it's intended. It actually ages you more, it's harder on your joints, it's harder on everything, it's essentially a poison. It's necessary for us to jolt into action, but when we have it on continual and consistent basis, it shifts us from a creative realm to a survival realm. And you'll never be able to experience the potential of what it is that is inside of you that you can feel come alive when you see different things in the world that really touch on what it is that you wanna do, your dream in your life. We, you never get to that because you're in a state of survival. You're looking to make sure, am I okay? Do I have enough money? Do I have this? Do I have that? Am I safe? Am I okay? And you keep replaying that because that all goes into struggle. It is all a survival. It is all a desire to survive. When you realize that, yeah, okay, maybe I am signed up for the struggle. I don't wanna do that anymore. You can watch a lot of different videos on YouTube. I have several, changing your self-concept, changing your limiting beliefs and identifying them. 
but you have to become aware if, if you're signing up for struggle or if what you're putting out into the world is honest effort. Is your effort getting laced with these negative emotions? Is it constricting you and limiting you from where you wanna go? And if you were take responsibility that you are the one putting those limitations on, you are the one consenting and accepting it to be true, that it has to be struggle, that it has to be hard. You can do anything that you wanna do, whatever it is that your heart is calling for, you can do it. You would not have that desire if the universe, God, did not put that in you for it to be expressed. Effort, out force, out of you. Show that strength, show that power. Whatever it is your talent, the world needs it. And you, we can only get it if you shift into effort and realizing the ways that you are struggling and that that doesn't have to be. You can look at it and see what am I thinking and believing? When's the first time I thought of those things? Is that true for me now? Do I need to keep doing this or can I do this a new way? What are other people who have come before me? How did they do it? How can I take that and make it my own? How can I put my message out there and put my effort and love into the world in this very specific talent? I hope this video I hope this video has helped you show that you do not need struggle in your life. You can shift to effort and get so much more out of life and live a much more peaceful way. If you have liked this video, please click that little thumbs up. If you haven't done it, hit the subscribe. It's gonna show you when I release my next video and share this with somebody who you think will help. And I'll see you on the next one.